I got a winter storm coming in. Let's fill up on some gas. Well, fill up on some diesel. And uh, see uh, how much of this diesel, how much of that S bar diesel heater is gonna drink tonight on this winter storm. was a quarter tank, $92 to fill it up. The streets are empty. Let's go find a place to, to spend the night. So we've got this parking lot over here of the Home Depot. Looks like we got some, some other truckers staying here for the night. This guy looks like he's sleeping in here. All right, so let's just double check this. It's 11.52 and we got a full tank. Diesel heater is gonna be on all night. that diesel here roaring right now. Well, I'm hungry, so let's get to cooking. Okay, we got the heat set to 26 degrees. It's currently 15 in here. Let's get these insulated window coverings on. It's already getting really hot in here. Pull these out. Put it into the cover. This window. Next window cover. Go here. Two more for the driver and passenger seat. So we got one, two, three, four. We get the front window cover. We got the reflectors. We're all sealed up now. Good old Coleman cooktop. You get some ventilation here with the max air.
little lights I got from Princess Auto. They got little magnets on there, so just wherever there's some metal, stick them on, get some extra light in. Got the heater kicking on now. So the, those of you that don't know the S bar diesel heater, it's taking fuel right now out of my diesel tank. Um, so the car engine, the the van engine is off, and um, this diesel heater has its own little heater. It, sorry, its own little engine, and. Uh, yeah, you keep your keep your engine off and this thing will keep you warm. That's what the truckers use. It's called the S bar D2 heater. That's just a setup we got going on over here. That's that seat swivels in too. Uh but just in case we gotta make a quick getaway, I'll leave it as is. Um yeah. S bar diesel heater is it's pumping away. It's pumping away down there. So for those of you uh, that are new to this van build, everything in here is modular. From the Dometic fridge, it's a dual fridge, freezer and fridge, or both freezer or both fridge. You guys saw the stove. The island is movable. I can move it sideways and put my other three-seater row there. Um, the, the step I'm sitting on right now is a two 12-inch JL Audios. Uh, and the bed. Yeah, we're gonna have to go into bed mode soon, but I'll show you guys that. My water line is frozen. So this is the scent and usually <sighs> I can get the water from there, but my water line under there is frozen. This is just the gray water tank. So I got I got the, the water over here, but the actual line is, has frozen water in it. So I can just pour water in the sink, but I can't. If I want fresh water, I gotta take it from that jug right now. But if I was living in here full time, then it wouldn't be frozen. All right, let's get this to bed mode. Um, without leaving the van, going outside. So basically, I'm gonna unclip this, unclip this rope. And that's gonna drop down. From here, I'm going to the back. And there's enough room for me to step back here, which I can lift this back up. Put this over here. I'm going to my bin. I'm grabbing whatever pillows, blankets I need. But I'm not gonna need, need it right now. Uh, pull this back. Set everything up. It's always good to have a lot of hooks when, when in van life. And there goes the light. I got the energy Kodiak. For if we need any power, we've got six outlets, cigarette lighters, and uh, USB ports. So that's what I got for power, and that also powers up my microwave if uh, I want to warm some food up. So, yeah, just propane tanks, all that good stuff. So, for safety, you go, you always have to have some carbon monoxide detectors and I got two of them 
So one always lives right here. And I'll put another one. I can put another one right here. I also got another little inverter here. So that could um you know, I could try use small appliances on here as well. Uh, this this uh, gets power off the auxiliary battery, um, which is located under the seat. Um, so yeah, I can also power stuff from here. And the fridge, the fridge right now is also, that that's uh, taking power from the auxiliary battery. Washroom is right here. We've got the, the old luggable loo. You know, it's uh, basically a toilet seat on a five gallon jug or a five gallon pail. And uh, you would take this off, put a garbage bag on it, do your thing, and uh, toss it out like uh, as you would do with a diaper. You know? So, uh, yeah. It's good to have a washroom in case of emergencies or whatever you need it, you got it. It's no different from changing a child's diaper, putting it in a, in a bag and throwing it away. I find that a lot easier than, um, you know, those compost toilets or, or uh, the actual toilet where you, it goes in a gray water tank, but then you got to you got to empty it out and flush it out after. I would rather not deal with that stuff um, and just throw it away and it's gone. Let's see. The snow, is it coming down? Yeah, it's coming down. All right, so, yeah, I think I'm just gonna finish this beer. in the van and call it a night. It's 1.30 in the morning. Uh, get ready for bed, finish this beer, and I'll see you guys in the morning. The next day. Still alive. Time is 9.30. And what's the temperature? It's 12 degrees in here. That's my diesel heater still running. You can hear it. So I've been sitting with some earplugs. Um, it says it's minus 14 degrees. And I got some snow in here. Snowing in here. I did. I did leave this cracked open a bit. Oh, man. I did leave this cracked open a bit just to get some air, some fresh air while I was sleeping. Um, and uh, I did have the, I did have the heater running as well, on the lowest setting, just to get um, some fresh air. But, yeah, I see, uh, how does it look out there? Let's go take a look outside, see what we got. Okay, so all I slept in last night was a uh, jogging suit. I got a, a thin long sleeve underneath, a t-shirt, and uh, a pair of long johns. So, and socks, and a hat. And you know, I was actually comfy. I was comfy through the night. Didn't wake up once. I did, I did wear some earplugs though. I did wear earplugs. 
because you'll hear the fan. And if you're a late sleeper, that would be the way to go. So let's gear up. Let's see. Let's see what we got up there. Negative 14 to 18 with the wind chill. Let's get the can and the goose on. Yeah, we got a little bit slow. That's it. I'd say about seven inches. It's supposed to come down even more, but um, survived in the splinter. Overall, overall, no issues other than this. Yeah, clearly, uh, uh, nothing the sprinter can't handle, especially with these rubber floors. That's what I like about it. Back in the warmth, let's put this in. Four by four. Four wheel drive active. And let's pull that in. 